girlfriends better than your friends, yeah. That's how I'm Hello guys, EY premiered his movie Merry Men 3 Nemesis on the 11th of October 2023. It was a private screening with the likes of Pare, Gucci Franklin, William Suchemba, EY and his wife and the tons of celebrities. Here we have Sandra Okonzoa. I'm sure some of you know her. She is a popular face. African Magic Showcase, rock, not much of a wonderful actress anyway. Here we have the gorgeous Nadia Buhari who also stares in the movie. I'm super excited about this one. Then we have Williams Uchemba who is also part of the movie and we have AY the producer and director. Then here we have Pere, Pere. Then we have Bucci Franklin. How many of you like Bucci? I have told you guys, so please, you guys will help me vote this guy if he gets a nomination next year. Then here we have Rosemont. I'm sure some of you know her. And Chinyere Uldebu. I don't know her. Maybe she's an actress. Well, so these days, actresses, uh, they're plenty. And of course, we have the gorgeous Sandra Okonzoa. And um, who do we have in Nadia Buhari on the red carpet? So tell me, how excited are you about Merry Men 3? Because for me, uh, guys, this Merry Men 3, uh, hmm, I don't I didn't really enjoy previous seasons. So, like, I feel like EY is not so much of... When it comes to movies, I feel like he needs to, you know, ask someone else to write scripts for him. But he loves to write his movies. And here we have the ladies man Perry. Oh, guys, this is really sweet. How about this one? Uh, uh, hot cake. Messi, okay. Hold your man. Everybody, I did you go. Uh, this lady in the red on the red carpet is beautiful. Uh, Ay, he really went for the best to for his red red carpet. The ladies are absolutely gorgeous. We have Ay and his wife. Guys, do you know that Ay and his wife their house got bonds? Sometimes I forget. So I wonder how they are coping if they have renovated it. Chai, may God help them replenish. Show it's not easy. One time my auntie's house bonds, but guys, let me not lie. When my auntie's house bonds, uh, she made so much money. I mean, they saying, God, let my own house burn. Because the money my auntie made, her house was a bungalow. She now made, like, money to build a duplex. Hey, God, I was not saying, God, please, now. Make my papa house for village burn. But I'm happy, God forbid, though, right now. I know better. Here we have the gorgeous Mr. and Mrs. A.Y. Macron. Just, they are such powerful couple. I love them. They have weathered the storm together. Super, super gorgeous. I love a white suit. I need to find out who styled him. Here we have Pere, Mrs. Man. Then we have Sexy Still. How many of you know Sexy Still? The guy that's like, Mambo. Mambo. Sexy Still. Elele. Elele. So guys, here we have Uti, who was also in attendance, and there is me thinking, how did he say hello to Pere? Because Uti was so critical of him during the show, like Uti was always yabbing him, and I heard it had to do with the fact that Uti had told Pere to get into a ship with Sisi, but he entered the house, and you know, life happened. He rather fell for Alex, eventually fell for Messi, and... I guess that was why Uti was throwing tantrums because his his behavior was very uncalled for. Because I remember even in 2021 when Perry was being very mean, I remember Uti saying, no, this is not who Perry is. So seeing him this time around finishing Perry, I was like, ah, ah, this is too much. Somebody now told me, my dear, na ship, because I'm would have been planned say this guy go enter ship with, yeah, with CC but life happened i say wow no wonder this is always whenever she has the opportunity she never fails to talk about how Perry failed her so guys this is one thing about my post i will just end up gisting about waiting no concern the post please guys let's move on so here we have sandra okonzoa with tana adelana oh, tana is such a beautiful woman here we have tana and lily esoro lily and esoro then who do we have next? We have the general with a female fan. Hmm, fan law. Perry looks really sweet. No wonder Messi no grilly vermum. 
So let's take a look at some of the OGs that are part of this movie. Hmm. Guys, at the end, you tell me who your fave is. Like, who are you so excited to see in this movie? Let's start. Well, number one, we have Butchie Franklin. Guys, you know this guy is my guy now. So I will be putting him in your faces. Then we also have William Suchimba. Hmm. I think in the phone in part two. I can't even remember Jack about Mary Men part two. Hmm. Guys, let's move on to the next one. Here we have Ufoma Magdeb Mott. Well, Ufoma played like the se she acted the second part of Mary Men. Yes, where they had like a female gang and all that. I think the the part two even began with her on a power bike bike not so sure shamik i know miss yan we have the absolute fave nadia Boari. guys i have really missed this lady i used to be such a huge fan of Ghanaian movies i remember then she acted z beyonce and rihanna hey god how time flies but she has become pretty quiet she's a very private person like you hardly get to hear things about her so let's see what we have next i'm not sure i don't know what role she's playing she wasn't part of the first and second you know parts then we have the iron lady herself iretiola doll she acted both one and two in one she was a top person and here we have shiguna rinze guys i am super excited that shiguna rinze is getting his groove back his groove back and is gradually returning to nollywood i love it so so much like i'm so excited about shiguna rinze i may just joke around and go see this movie because of shigun then we have sam Dede, guys i am not gonna lie i used to have a huge crush on sam Dede. But looking at him now, nothing so special. But then, maybe because of the roles and how he bodied those roles, I liked him a lot. Like, I was like, oh my god, the day I meet Sam Dede, the day I'm going to meet Sam Dede, I'll do like this. But presently, to be very honest, I don't even care. Like, I live in Port Harcourt and he also stays in Port Harcourt, but I don't care. Then here we have Chidi Moke Me. Hey guys, so chai! Can't be like Sena to be miss this thing, oh guys. I'm super excited about Chidi Moke Me. In fact, Chidi and Nadia, I am most excited about. Like, I am super happy. So let's see who we have next the handsome Ramsenua. Guys, I have tons of questions to ask about Ramsenua. Like, what about his sister? I don't think Osas is in this part. Did they do it that she died? What about his sister, Rose, Rosalind, eh, that uh, Church Hill's wife? Then uh, she was married to Jim Ike. Jim Ike is not in this part. Hey, God. The problem is I can't even remember part two if maybe something happened to these people. Oh. I think I should watch. I, I'm going to watch part two. I'll look for it on Netflix. It should be on Netflix because as it is now, eh, I cannot remember Jack. What is this list without mentioning the actual owner of the movie ayo macon see eh, i don't sometimes i wonder if these people recoup their money because ay is one person that spends good money on production but the only thing is sometimes i wonder maybe he doesn't know the right people because if he did maybe he will produce better movies by the right people i mean like a good storyteller a good story writer director and all that i believe if he has these people in his corner he will know whatever movie he's shooting because one thing you can never take away from ay is the fact that he has the funds and he has good taste yes he has great taste he's the kind of person that will bring out money and i honestly hope he recoups his money but for me i may go to the cinema or i will be patient for netflix i know one of it will you be watching please if you if you're going to be watching remember i start showing from the 13th of october 2023 so guys please if you will be watching the case in the comment section if you have watched it do you recommend on a scale of one to ten what how do you rate it but generally just tell me how you felt about watching the movie